Oh, it's really pissed because I'm missing it. This is an organising video. I'm going to show you how to build an art easel. It already comes in pieces, but I'm going to build it for you. I've took it out of the box, and I'm going to show you how to build it. You get your parts. First you get bolts, nuts, and washers. There's a number of those, but I know which ones will work. You get the base of the easel, and you get your body of the easel. But first, I'm going to put on the block. Make sure this bit here is downwards, not upwards. That is because that keeps the art piece in place. But I'll show you that later on. The longest nut goes here. Put it in. You do not need a spanner. Make sure it clicks. Get your nut. Should be a lot of new videos soon. I'm feeling a lot better now. Make sure you screw it. Never too tight because you might crack your wood. I've got a lot of art easels. But never too tight. That's a bit tight. You can do it as. You can keep loosening it all the time if you want. It's a bit too loose. Yeah. You can sort it where you do your artwork on it. And I've done a piece of artwork on a canvas board. But I'll show you that later on. So that's done. I can build anything. Absolutely anything. So make sure that's up. This is up. You get your oven nut. It has to be a special nut for this one. It's very special. That's where we not were before. Right, get the nut. It's a special one. You put it through this all here on your easel. It's going to have this special washer on top. Put that there and then tighten it up. Then you've only got two more nuts to go. This is a desk easel. Never too tight, you might crack your wood. Then that's your easel gone. That never have these two sides at all. You should be able to crack it. These are very delicate. One side has a washer, one side doesn't. Which is very unusual, but it's the way it is. A bit easy. Tighten this up. But before you buy these, I'll always read your instructions. You can have the washers outside if you want. First you can put your bolt inside and have the washer of the nut outside. But I like having the bolt first, then the nut here. But it's up to you how you do it. If that's how you want to do it, you do it like that. We have three washer inside. It, it blocks. It blocks out the nut.
Eight you want some bit it's a table. Sometimes nuts will come loose. Every time you put these all away, loosen these nuts a little bit to close these all up. That's your easel closed up and I built it. Let's open it up. Open up the easel. Sometimes the nuts can get caught up between things. Open the easel up until you're happy with it. But do not wait for too long because it will, the nuts will get very loose and fall, the easel will fall apart. I built an actual easel out of scrap wood once or twice I've done that. There you go. This is an organised video. What's the easel built? I'm gonna have to unplug. built the own towel easel. It took seven minutes. Seven minutes for that. That's a great start. For this piece of artwork I've done here. Put it what I said about the wood being like that. Put it here, your artwork, with the easel I've built. Make sure that's loose. You can use your fingers like this if you want. It's a left handed thread. Make sure it's like that. And there you go, you're out with it. And that's how you have your board for your painting. So I've built the Untel easel for you though. That's what it's like when you buy it. And when you finish with your easel, fold it up. Just go like that, release the artwork. And then loosen your nuts at the side, not fully, because you'll it'll fall apart. And then push these all away. Sometimes these are my crack. That's an old tel e desk easel. And then lean it on the side or something. That's up to you what you do with it then. The nuts will come loose eventually and you have to tighten things up. <coughs> what doesn't matter? Now I'm going to sort out my artwork. <coughs> then tell you about my girlfriend. Not the girlfriend I've got now, the girlfriend I had before. It's a very interesting story. This cupboard here is not even half of my art tools. I've got hundreds of art stuff. Easels, pencils, paints, brushes, hot glue gums, oh, pretty much everything. This is some of my equipment, what I use a lot. I'm going to show you the organised stuff. That doesn't look very organised, does it? Then I'll do the top drawer. I'm not getting other art stuff out of other, out of other cupboards. Let's have a look inside everything. Because you have to sort stuff out. I'm going to have to try and find a way to keep all these pencils still in here. I'll just check my back with you guys. Oh, we're fine. 
Netflix or all things are shut. Just also check if anything's not broken. It is broken. You have to replace it. Yep. These are only a pound. That were about 25 quid. My bag of brushes. I've used these today, so I've about made 100 quid on a piece of artwork, which is good. Just check all my brushes, see if they're working or that. See if none are broken. Check if they're all there. Yeah, my brush set's good. Hmm, let me see if it's still there. Must be in a different cupboard, that brush. Close things up. This case is supposed to be for pencils, but I keep brushes in it. It doesn't matter what you keep in it, it's up to you. Paint set. Just better check if all that's clean and everything. Paint sets. So you've got paints not dried out. Yeah. So I like that. Don't bust about paint and getting on the bottles. The paint. Great boxes. This is more paint. That's more paint. It's gonna be out. It's got hundreds of tools in this. Some of them have had for generations. This is blue paint. That's, oh, this is gold paint. Sure, right now. Put a bit on this. I'll be doing Max and Ruby books soon. Well, I'll do it now. Look, it's gold. I'll just get the bottle and spike it along. There we go. Great. That costed six quid, that paint. All these paints. Not bad. Not bad at all. Want to put it all out? I sorted all out. You've seen some of these tools before on YouTube. I've done me acrylic pencils. Very important you do art checks for your tools. My watercolour pencils. Watercolour pencils. Art. My watercolour pencils look okay to me. My shading pencils. Charcoal pencils. I've got two sets of shading pencils in that, in this cupboard. Charcoal pencils. Yep. To clean your paint brushes, that's what I use that one for. That's my paint palette, nothing else cracks in it. It's a bit bent, but I've sorted that now.
some scissors, see if they are working. I'm not using them correctly. I've got to check this cupboard and check every other cupboard. My girlfriend got me these for Christmas. Some more shading pencils. I prefer these ones and them ones. And they, these for about 20 quid. My girlfriend got me these for 2 quid. But she also got me some uh, red wine. The red comes off these and it's got a nice protected cover. They're great crawford and black art tools. Just the rubber. It's a good idea to have a few rubbers hanging around. They're a good company, these. Yoop, yoop. Art, they're very good to us. This. I buy art tools all the time for the sake of it. I'll just push all this in. I'll just move me easy. That's it, boy. This is like a, a water coloured pastel set. This set of art tools. Comes with a sharpener, rubber, not opened yet. I bought it yesterday. No, I didn't buy it yesterday actually, sorry. It was Christmas, it was Christmas yesterday. Bought it the day before. This is a very special pencil. You rub it on these, and you rub it on this. We'll be doing these on YouTube one day. This is a practice sheet to practice it. To practice your colours. We'll do some pencil sharpener and the rubber. But we won't be using them, we'll be using this and these. Not open it yet. Yep, I know how to use them. I'll just put that back in place. Waterfall pastels, they're completely harmless. I'll just practice, see what I like. Because do it all week, seven quid does. Always for seven quid. Try it out. Oh, great. Very nice effect. Very nice indeed. Good practice book too. The last I say every artist should have one of these sets.
Water pastels are good for that. They're completely harmless. They just stink a bit. That's all. Yeah, they just stink. That's all. But after then, they're pretty good. These are very special pencils. Actually, me, me old girl thing got me these. I'll tell you a bit of the story now. I've got a girl. I've got a new girlfriend. This year, we love each other. We're having a baby, but my old girlfriend, sadly, she's passed away. So she got me these before she passed away for Christmas. They're very special. I have not touched them. I've never used them on paper. I wouldn't. They're precious to me. These. Precious. But what it says at the pencil. If you can see. Chris and Smithy. Yeah, precious to me. I still have nightmares about her dying. But she's dead, so. It just, just happens that. You read it. Okay, with all these, I'll never touch these, ever. Never use them. Five pound I cost you though. I'll tell you all about the story afterwards. I'll go on to my bed afterwards and I'll tell you. And we'll also do a, I'll also tell you a Max and Ruby story I've written today as well. How, how does that sound? Please don't break. Go. Might use them someday. I don't know yet. But I'll never use them as much as me other pencils. They're precious. Right, that's them. I bought these from Works, these pencils. Very standard. Costed £5. Yeah, they costed a fiver. Very standard pencils. Got a lot of pencils, haven't they? People treat me like an art shop. Come in asking for pencils, but I don't wear them because they never come back. These are just some art pens. Fell tips. 36 pack. Well, I've got some similar to this. Got some Sharpies pens in the other art cupboard. That's it. And now it's just very simple stuff. There's a pair of scissors, but I check if they're looking. They're fine. Very big scissors. Be careful with them. Okay. Oh, they're all there. Very sharp, please. Be careful with them. Some palette knives. I've got a metal palette knife in my other art cupboard. And some more brushes. Right, to set up this art cupboard, start with flat things first. But I'm going to start with paint brushes and palette knives first. In this. All that. Scissors here. Then we'll start with flat stuff like over, over here. Here's more than the brushes, because they won't break at all. But perfect fit. These charcoal pencils, the lid don't shut properly, so I'll be careful with those. My precious pencils, I will you. My paint palettes, I will you. The pencils here, more pencils here. These, I will you. They can go you. That art company came out in 1808. But this model of pencil, these this model came out in 1988, these ones. This model. So they've been going for about 
Okay, bare vent. Før i TGS. Yes. Det er ikke, hvor man kan ryge for. Put me pants here. Oh, I've left a purse, this is out. But I'll keep them lawful in there. I used to have some similar to that gemma, but I've lost those. Put me special boxes here. Put me pallets on top of the net. Put these here. Put that paint pallet there. Put the rush here. There. A nice organised box. This is what this is the art cupboard I keep on my uh, table, art table. So I'll put that back. That's all past. And I'll organise the top one now. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. Some watercolour paints. Probably bought them 14 years ago. I haven't touched them. Paint palette, it's all looking okay. Not now because I cracked it. <laughs> but alright, it's got loads of cracks in it. Don't worry about it. Some more pencils. But these are drawing pencils. There's shading pencils, charcoal pencils, drawing pencils, and so on. I can't remember what's in here. Oh, more pencils. With a sharpener. Keep that safe. Some more water paints. We've used these on YouTube. Last time we used them was probably about five months ago. So. Probably its own little brush, but I don't use that brush ever. I always use my proper brushes. That was a very cheap brush. I bought these in Milko's in Blackpool when I went out with my friends. My aunt's friends, so I bought them. I can't remember where I bought these from, actually. But they're not very good pencils. But I keep them around. So they break too easily. But I keep them around, so, so I like keeping stuff. I don't get rid of anything, me. Some more pencils for the rubber, the sharpener. Let's have a look. Very dirty rubber. It stinks as well. Sharpeners are very good. Yeah, very clean. Craft knife for crafted stuff. You can cook anything that. Anything. Right. Keep that safe. It's a very, very dangerous art tool. If that goes through your arm, and you don't get to hospital in seven minutes, you're pretty much just gonna die because it's too sharp, it's very sharp. This actually built this myself, actually. It's working for my pens. For when we're doing story writing. I built this box myself. Very square. Built it all by myself with some wood. Built it all by myself. Very square and very level, so I like it. Keep hold of that. Some confidence black watercolour pencils. I do remember when we did these on YouTube. We did it ages ago, remember? These. They cost you twenty pounds. You pulled them. They're very good. Some sell tape. Never use it. Costed two quid this. Never never used it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was always playing. Some pens. 
don't use it. A lot of my teeth and stuff, Andy. These were good art brand. Some more art pens. These were good. These were a well known brand in art. Some PVA glue. Don't use that a lot, but I keep holding it. Some scissors. Some more scissors. <laughs> Some more scissors. Some more scissors. And even more scissors. Some will cause colouring pencils. I like those actually. They're very good pencils, I think. Some highlighters, six pack. You get a yellow, a blue, pink, purple, orange and green. Not bad. Some cray some crayons. Very good for shape. Very good for like outside plants and that. Some PVA glue. Glue sticks. Some paintbrushes. And some more of those pens I bought. This is the other pack I was on about. When we had a big pack. These were £2. But they're quite good. All this art stuff put together. All of it. Just that cupboard's probably worth about £1,000 altogether. Very good then. And my other flask. Which is a rubber. And also a pencil sharpener. But this, this broke off ages ago. I don't know if I need to empty it or not. Oh, it's, it's not full, so that's good. I keep all that. I take it. I take it when I'm going far away, so, so I'm not carrying lots of hard stuff, like rubbers and that. Right, so I'll get this one. I'm gonna put that here. It's coming there this time. It used to be over there, but now it's coming there. Put all the flat stuff in first. Bring stuff to one side. Bring stuff to one side. Probably never use it, but I'll keep all of it. You never always sell the tape comes in under. If a paper rips where you're doing artwork, you don't use sell tape. You get another piece of paper, exactly the same size. Put glue on it, and then put the broken paper over it. And then you'll never know. Well, you shouldn't know, but you never know, do you? Got all the brushes in there. I'll put me other flask for. I use that on the flask a lot, so I'll never get rid of it. I'll put the pencils here. A water paint there. Let's see how much there's left in here. There's no brush with it, but that doesn't matter. I'll keep all them. Oh, the game's dry. Don't know. Just, just go for useful again. I'll keep all of them and see. If not, I'll throw them away. Oh, they stink, those. Oh, what a paint does. Put my pencils here. Palette here. Yeah, all this art stuff in this cupboard. This cupboard's probably worth about, with all this in, £1,000. But all my art stuff put together. Oh, thousands. Got a lot of stuff. The water cool pencils, you have to be very careful if you drop them, they broke. Well, not the wood won't be broke, the graphite will be broke inside. I'll do a review about them wood cool pencils one day. And the Covenant Black Waterfront pencils. I'll do a review about those Will Cross pencils. I love them. Have you ever, I bought these in 
I can't remember. Depends the good ones. Let's see what they'll do. Pick pens. Pick make colouring pencils and pens and rubbers. That's all. We don't make paints or anything. You can't change the ink cartridge on these. They secretly put a little button on it to change them. Do you know why they did that? Because when your ink runs out, they want you to buy more pens off them. They're doing that to spite you. So with these pens, it's common to change the ink cartridge. No, take it out. Throw it away, buy a new ink cartridge. Put it in, and then you, you're going. I've changed the cartridge on this a few times. Most people throw the pen away. Well, it takes ages for the ink to run out. Most people throw it away, but I don't. I change them. This is a pen. You cannot change the ink in this pen. I always use this for that in forms out and that. I always use my red. I don't use my red pens at all. All my blue pens. When we write in books, we all use black pens. A lot of people love them. I don't like them. I might use them for summer. Right, this pen. You can't change the ink cartridge. You just can't unscrew it. Now for where? But I figured out how to change the ink on it. They think they can fool me. The wrong. Nobody can fool me to change it. If you bought these pens and ink runs out, just push it. Push this little button here. Pull out this. That's just your pen. But you have to get the right type of ink cartridge. You can just use any. And if it's too big, you can cut it. But make sure you've got paper where you're cutting it. And put your swing over it. Like this. If you let go of this, this falls out. There's a little hook here. Put, it's easy to put it back in. There we are. Sorted. Just hold it and see, put it in the pen. Right. That's where the button is. It's a very fiddly job. Oh, that's, that's because that's why I did that because I put it the wrong way. I'll be back in a moment. Very important you put the button back in the right place. But I'll show you on that now. We all do it wrong sometimes. Put your cartridge back in on the on the pen. Pen is an art tool. Very popular art tool. Some artists use pens as their pencils. There, sorry. Make sure it's up on like this. It's, if it's just going to go like that, and you put your button in, your pen won't work. Sometimes, when you're using these pens, if the ink cartridge comes out, when you're trying to write something, it'll just keep coming out. And I'll show you that. I've got a pen that's doing it at the moment. But I'm going to show you how to fix it. Sometimes it's a bit for good. Because not everything can be fixed. These are the fiddliest things you'll ever buy. They're doing that spite you. But I know you can change the ink on these because I have done. Loads of times. So I do a lot of book writing. Oh, 
There we are. I found that problem. There's always a few problems. You get art stuff. It does break. You have to fix it. Really, it's important which side. You people think you can just do it on any side, but you can't. People think you can do it anything on any side, but you can't. These pens will all go one way. There we are. It's like the light switch. If it's only got two wires, the wire can go either way. You have it crossed, you can put the wire in any hole. But if you've got more than two wires, you have to run back where it went. So if you've got five wires, you've got to put them all back in the right place. But with two, you can put it anyway. I've got fixed it. Same. I was doing it the wrong way. And I'll show you how to fix one of these pens. I've got another one here. Just pause a minute, because I need toilet. I'll show you now what I mean by that problem. I know we're talking about pens a lot, but we'll fix it. This problem we're having here. Here's some drawing paper from the right. So you pushing it down, but when I push, it just releases back up like this. But it shot out that time. Well, that's because it's broken. That last pen were working brilliantly. But this pen's broken. It's been broke for ages. So I'm going to try and fix it. Yeah, you can't write anything. So let's try and fix it. Like this pen here. This one's an healthy pen. Yep, it's working correctly. Most people won't fix it and just throw it away, but it's always worth trying to fix what you can. Right, I'm going to plug them here. They're very complicated pens, these actually. You can't drop that either, because it will just fall out. So you've got to be very careful. It's back on the cartridge. So there we are, fixed it. Let go of it. Let's push it in. Let go. Let go. Oh, mended it. Now I'll write to Max and Ruby. Neatly. So it'll be on this paper. I'll do it in big letters. Some people want a sir, but X. Oh, that's a movie. And be easy. Very 
very neat. me so I'll slam the door oh dear come on I'm getting on now show them it art swap your strong as it used to be oh dear oh. I'm okay with this don't worry about me Okay, I'm late. I'll go into bed soon. That's when you get on, because I'm getting quite old now, so you need to sleep. Well, uh, let's put my arties all back on me on the table. Just move, move rock climbers to harness. Oh, just be where the grass is everywhere. So that's one of my cupboards sorted. The girlfriend's store. I'm very, very good at electrical work. I'm very good at it. In fact, my old girlfriend's house, I wired her house up. But what she did is, she was a bit naughty. Because she had autism. She had autism, learning difficulties, and lots of medical problems. She took all the switches and ripped up wiring out, so her mum told me. Well, she lived on her own, she lived on her own, but... Her mum lived with her, actually, because very bad. The problems were... So, her mum phoned me to rewire the house. She said, how much do I have to pay you? I said to her, nothing, because she's my girlfriend. So, so that's, that's, that's that. And I'll tell you some of the medical problems. I got trained to use a feeding tube by the doctors so I could use a feeding tube on a feeder and that. But I never got to use it because once I got trained, and certificate said she died, so what a waste of money I had to pay. But it will come in useful because I might have to use one on somebody else one day. Let me know. Let me know. She had a lot of allergies. She had a lot of allergies. She had very delicate bones. Before she died, they put her in a wheelchair. Because they were scared of a spine collapsing. She worked like that when she was younger, but when, when they found out she had schizophrenia, she had to go in a wheelchair because her spine, her spine could have collapsed. Then she will die. If you break your spine, you're in big trouble. I mean, it big trouble. I've been told of somebody. Would have I have, would have cried if she, if a man collapsed in front of me? Yeah, of course I'd cry. I'd bust my eyes open. I cried when she died. I still cry about it sometimes. I have nightmares about it sometimes. But these things, there's nothing to be scared of or, or anything. They all have nightmares and scared of something. 
Yeah. And uh, that's just the way it is. I'll tell you a very major story now. I do not believe in Jesus. Not at all. People think I hate it. But actually, I'll tell you a very, very secret. I've kept this a secret all my life. All my life. I've kept this as a secret. I actually did believe in Jesus at one time, actually. One time, I believed in Jesus. But when I got with my girlfriend in 2005, ten years later, she started to have problems. And then she got... I used to believe God invented everybody. And then... When she started getting the problems, when she had a major problem with her spine, with a collapse, that's when I started hating Jesus. No, it's, I don't think it's real or anything. I think it just happened to her. But that's because I ate, ate Jesus. Ate it. I'm not being nasty or anything. Because a nasty person will start swearing and violence. I'm not being violent, I'm being calm. I'm being calm. Here. Yeah. That's why I ate God and Jesus, because of that. But please, everyone who sees me, do not say Jesus or anything in front of me. Because I just get upset. Don't cry, but I just get upset. I had to take the hospital all the time. Every time I went out on a date, her bones were so delicate. When she just tripped up like this, tripped on me, she broke up her arm. I've never broke my arm. I've broke my knuckle. That hurt. My, my girlfriend now. She's a lovely, lovely girl. She's a lovely person. She teaches maths and English, my new girlfriend. If you just fall over and cut your knee, she'll come and give you an hug. I'm five foot ten. And she's four foot nine. So I have to bend down to kiss her. I'm not going to grow anymore. But 5 foot 10 is pretty tall, isn't it? Always two more inches and I'm 6 foot, but I'm not going to grow anymore now. I've stopped growing now. I've stopped growing a long time ago. My girlfriend, who died, she was a wealthy girl as well. And I don't really like saying stuff like this on the internet because I might get sued on the internet only. I won't get banned from writing books because that's me on that's me own company. Some of us work in it too, but that's me on that's my company. Nobody can take that off me. Okay. I would have had a baby with my old girlfriend, but she had no vagina. Well, she did. She, she had a vagina where a waist comes out. It's where a pee comes out. But really, the vagina's inside it. Inside the private parts. And she didn't have one. And she was in so much pain. She weren't born with one. So she couldn't have a baby. And you can get in serious, serious trouble for saying stuff like this. But I'm always saying it because it is a true thing and it's very natural. But do do not go saying it in public because you get bother. And I mean it bother. If the police say you're saying stuff about stuff like that, you can get to bother. I should have said it, but 
not saying it, that's why we didn't have a baby, because we couldn't. And she could have had an operation to get one in, but it's two. She said, nah, leave it. Because she, she knew she was going to die soon anyway. Well, that's the end of this story then. I'll do a quick Max and Ruby story of it today. It's called Ruby Has a Bath. Once upon a time, Max was playing mud pies in the garden. And, she threw, and he threw one at Ruby's head. And Ruby like this, you naughty little bunny. Ruby is like Max's mother. She's a lovely rabbit. Lovely. When I write it in books, she's a lovely rabbit. In my books. And then she had a bath to wash all the mud off. But Max put a yogurt in the bath. And it made the bath all dirty and horrible. And then she had to run another bath. And Max did, he got, did a drink that time. Made all the bath water an horrible colour. And then she ran another bath. And then he did it with some spaghetti. And she screamed. Got out and run the bath again. And then they played happily ever after for the end. It's only a three it's only a five page story. But I'll be doing a twenty five page story next week. So I'll see you later guys. Goodbye.